Mark Twain once famously said, "There is no such thing as a new idea. It is impossible. We simply take a lot of old ideas and put them together in a sort of mental kaleidoscope. Even a lot of modern technologies are really just updated versions of older creations, polished and given a fresh coat of paint." So, with that in mind, today we're going to go back as far as we can to the origin of these ten technological creations. Video games. Patented in 1948, the cathode ray tube amusement device was a massive closet-mounted cathode ray computer. As for the gameplay itself, knobs were used to adjust the speed and trajectory of an artillery shell that the player aimed at the predestined point on the screen. These points were overlain with transparent pictures of aeroplanes. In other words, the aeroplane images were actually placed on top of the screen. After all, this was the 40s, and the level of graphical detail needed for an in-game plane would have been impossible. Next, the player would try to hit the target by maneuvering his artillery shell toward the present point or aeroplane. If the player managed to hit the target, the shell would blur, simulating an explosion. Mobile phones. Mobile phones have been around a lot longer than you would probably suspect. The first true mobile phone was available way back in 1922. Although this device was labeled as a wireless telephone, it was not what we consider a mobile phone today. Nevertheless, it was a way to wirelessly connect with friends and family members over great distances, and in the 1920s, that was quite an achievement. The device was a kind of one-way crystal radio that was used to listen to messages. It was large and required an umbrella to act as the antenna. However, it didn't need a power source since the antenna provided the energy. Old advertisements for the phone appealed to women who wanted to call their husbands wherever they were at the moment. Of course, that also meant hubby had to carry the bulky radio and constantly listen for the phone call. Given all that, it's not surprising this particular device never caught on. Bras. A recent discovery has placed the invention of the bra in the 1400s. A team of archaeologists unearthed a vault of ancient clothes in Castle Lengberg, located in Tyrol, Austria. Inside the vault were 2,700 textile fragments. Among the shoes, shirts, and cod pieces were four examples of medieval bras. Each bra was differently designed. One looked like the longline bra of the 1950s, with an extra piece that extended down the ribcage. This particular bra was fastened with lace. Another was elaborately decorated with needle lace, finger loop lace, and a form of knitting known as sprangwork. So, in addition to being one of the earliest bras ever invented, perhaps this is also the first example of lingerie. 3D movies. From House of Wax to Avatar, 3D film has sporadically popped up in cinema throughout the years. However, 3D film has a much longer history than most people think. It is commonly thought that the first 3D boom was in the 1950s, which many hold as the golden age of 3D movies. But even before that, 3D movies were already showing up all across the U.S. In 1936, the 3D film Audioscopics earned an Academy Award for Best Short Subject. The film used the red cyan color scheme that most are familiar with. These colors are preferred because they leave fewer ghost images than others. But even in 1936, this was by no means the first time audiences have watched films in 3D. The first commercially released 3D film was The Power of Love. The film hit theaters in 1922, and it was the first movie to make use of anaglyph glasses, along with the red cyan color scheme. Although the original print of the film is so faded that it can barely be seen, work has been done to restore it, and what researchers have been able to recover has proved quite realistic. 3D printing. In recent years, 3D printing has opened up many possibilities in a wide variety of industries, from the medical field to space exploration. But despite its popularity, most people don't know that 3D printing has actually been around for over 30 years. In 1981, a Japanese-based research institute published an account of the first functional prototype of a 3D printer. The system used photopolymers to create a solid, printed model that was built in cross-sectional layers. Only three years later, Charles. Hall invented stereolithography, a process which lets designers use digital data to create 3D models. By hitting them with a laser, the system would produce solid pieces of plastic. Although the system could produce 3D models, its full potential wasn't yet realized, and it was mainly valued by designers wishing to save time when creating prototypes. Social media. In 1970s Berkeley, a group of friends interested in computers set out to create a community bulletin board system. 
They came up with the idea of using a mainframe computer linked to others throughout the community, thus creating an information flea market. It was slow, using 110 board modems that worked at 10 characters per second, but people could use it to share information much like today's social media. A user would tag a keyword for others to search for, and members could share messages about anything, from the Beatles to where to buy the best bagels. Reading messages was free, and posting them cost a quarter. Electric cars. Electric cars are widely viewed as a modern invention, but actually they are around 200 years old. In the early 1800s, a number of inventors all around the world were creating crude, small-scale electric cars. The first practical vehicles were built around the mid-19th century in France and England, and the first successful electric car to hit the US was in 1890. It was a six-passenger automobile that could travel at approximately 23 kilometers per hour. During that decade, electric vehicles were outselling gasoline cars 10 to 1. They were considered superior to gas-powered cars, which were more difficult to drive since they required changing gears. Plus, you had to start them with a hand crank. Electric cars, though, were not without their fault. Since electrical sources were confined to cities, so were the cars that needed them. This became even more problematic as US infrastructure improved. Suddenly, people wanted to take trips in their cars. Texas crude oil was soon discovered and gas became cheap and easy to come by. The final death blow to the electric car was Henry Ford's assembly line, which made his gas-powered automobiles less than half the price of electric cars. Further innovations replaced the cumbersome hand crank with the electric starter, and by 1935, electric vehicles were a thing of the past. Until today, that is. Vending machines. Vending machines are believed to have been invented in the early 1800s. The invention soon caught on, and over the decades, it has provided mankind with convenient items like snacks and drinks. In some places, like Japan, you can find toy cars, t-shirts, and even cooked crabs in public vending machines. However, the first vending machine was actually invented between 215 BC and 100 AD by Greek mathematician and engineer Hero of Alexandria. The purpose of this first vending machine was to dispense holy water in the temples of Egypt. The device worked in the same way as a modern vending machine. Worshippers would put coins in the top, and it would dispense a measured amount of holy water for washing. At the at the end of the day, the machine would be emptied of coins and topped off with blessed water. Plastic Surgery The first known nose job took place in the Old Kingdom of Egypt around 3,000 years ago. After he passed away, Ramses II underwent a crude form of plastic surgery. A small bone and a handful of seeds were inserted into his nose, so the pharaoh could be recognized in the afterlife. Ancient Egyptian plastic surgery was generally limited to the dead and it was only later that reconstructive plastic surgery would be used on the living. In the 6th century BC, ancient Indians repaired damage to the nose and ears by cutting skin from the cheek or forehead and sewing it over the damaged areas. This method is called forehead flap rhinoplasty, and the procedure involved stretching the skin over a leaf, then reattaching it over the wound. The secret of this surgery was kept hidden for centuries, and the procedure was generally used to repair noses or ears lost due to warfare or punishment. Nowadays, modern forms of the procedure are still used for a variety of plastic surgeries. Vaping Vaping might be enjoying a boom in popularity right now, but the practice has been around for thousands of years. The History of Herodotus, a book from the 5th century BC, records an account of ancient Scythians throwing hemp seeds on hot stones to vaporize them, prompting more than a few shouts of joy. This early form wouldn't be recognized by modern vapors, but the first real vaporizer was invented in the 1500s. You probably know it better as a hookah. It's believed that the hookah was invented in India, though some believe it originated in Persia. Regardless of origin, the first hookers were simpler than modern ones, and they were made from coconuts with a bamboo tube used as a hose. Modern day vaporizers were invented in 2003 thanks to a Chinese pharmacist whose father had died of lung cancer. But this device was based on an e-cigarette design from 1960. In turn, that was based on an even older nicotine vaporizer patented in 1927. Unfortunately, this particular device received little attention because smoking was still popular at the time, and its health risks were unknown. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Top Truths content. In the meantime, feel free to take a look at our other videos here.